Hello friends, Marcy here, and I'm back to share a pen with you that I've had for um, quite some time. Um, as you can see, it's the Estabrook, um, and I ordered it um, in September of 2023, which is kind of in the middle of our construction projects in the home and a lot of things, if weren't already packed, got packed. Anyway, so this is uh, the Estabrook and... Um, Oh, I don't, you don't have to read the package or the box. You can just look at the beauty right here. It is the Botanical Gardens. Okay, and I love these little boxes, this little tweed cover. Um, it just, it's such a wonderful texture. I enjoy um, textures in visual and tactile. So, lovely, lovely box. I enjoy it. And inside the box, there does... Uh, come a little uh, cartridge and this little envelope with a card inside that's packed quite tightly and it says uh, scan to activate your pin with the little barcode there so I'll have to do that and check out what that's all about I have several um, Esther books and I've never done that before I've never activated a pen so I wonder if I do that if it will work Haha. <laughs> All right, so let's look at the gorgeousness of this beauty. I want to get close up so you can see. I know the camera in the video never does justice to the beauty that the naked eye can see. Um, one of the problems is uh, the glare of the light. Let me see if this will make it better or worse. Well, there's other lights, so I guess not. Um, but if we could get rid of the glare and get close up, you could see what I'm seeing. Oh, see, now what I want to talk about later is like this little speck right here is one of my favorite specks in the whole pen <laughs> when I see that color. But talk about color. Um, there's another one of the, those colored actually too, the colored speck. It's like um, a vibrant pink. But if you can notice um, without the glare, all the different colors in here there's gold um there's a deep like a garnet red and there's some berry colors some brighter berry colors there's a deep deep blue so the gold the red um the blue the green there's a like a sea green in here and i don't know so I know you can't see the colors like I'm seeing the colors. They are gorgeous. And I just want to, we'll get into that. Hopefully I can get to where some of this gorgeousness can be displayed better. Um, here, let me try turn off a different light. Turn off a different light. Hmm. We still have that main glare. But look at the little bright spots that you can see that catch the light. Okay, so um, Estabrook, SD. This does have a gold clip. Um, Estabrook is written at the bottom of the band here. And I do have gold hardware here. And the nib is a flex spine. Um, I like flex nibs because if you have a fine nib you can actually write maybe like a medium um you can tell it's a flex nib because there's some little cutouts here just below the shoulders that we call wings that um, allow the nib to actually flex with pressure and i do enjoy this grip section on the sds um we'll have to do a sd inventory video soon um look at these little glimmers and shimmers that are going on as i move it in the light gorgeous i do wish you could enjoy all the fabulous colors with me as i am enjoying so when we move the barrel we have a converter it is branded um not on the cylinder but here around this band and it just says esterbrook okay let's see it's a, oh nope it's a push in i really enjoy the um screw in Converters just they add a little an extra level of um, security for me. 
but um, this pushes in snugly. We're good to go. All right, so I have been debating on which um, ink to use. Let me just give you cards of my color choice opportunities. So I've chosen um, a variety of colors. Any of these could be used if you like to match inks. Any of them could be used beautifully um, in this pen and it would just match and correlate with the colors in the body because all the colors are there. Look at just in the script section, look at all this gorgeous green right here, the sea green that's just right here. So pretty. So the colors that I'm considering are uh, Pelican Edelstein Star Ruby. I think this is the winner. I had to bring it out first. Um, considered Tobacco Sunset or Sunburst, but I think um, this is a Dimine guitar series, and I think I'll wait um, till like the fall maybe to use that in this pen because I have other pens that it look gorgeous into. A bright blue to bring out the bright. Uh, the bright blue specs in there, Con Pecky, Pilot Irishizuku, and another Pilot Irishizuku, Kujaku. So I think this would like cover these um, more muted uh, like sea, sea glass. I don't know. Now I've dwindled it down in my brain to two. Hmm. Go for the bright and bold. Mm, okay, Kujaku is the winner for today. This, this ink will be written out, and then we can go in for the Star Ruby at another time, right? So uh, let me get my ink out, um, and we'll get ready for some beautiful writing samples. Okay, as always, when I get a new pen, um, or the first time I use a pen, I like to just rinse some clean water through the nib feed and um, converter. So let me just push that out. Set the water aside. And I find it, it tends to help um, the ink saturate the nib on its first spill. All right. Isn't that just a gorgeous color? Oh my. All right, piston down, a good dunk below the breather hole. And I'm just going to accept whatever ink comes up in the first draw, which is a full fill. Nice job. Okay, first order of business, because I do need to keep um, updating my cards on the back of my Pilot Air Suzuku Kujaku. I'm going to record the pen that is um, being inked today because I do need to, have, you know, be consistent in keeping up with that. So we have the Estabrook. Oh my. Lovely choice. SD, uh, Botanical Garden, and this is where we're going to enjoy the Flex 5 nib. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, um, I guess I could record a date here. Oh, that's so sad. I've had this pen for like nine months and I've not been enjoying it. All right, um, set this aside and ready for storage. I am going to show you the ink and the nib experience. It's the Rodia dot pad. My least favorite 
writing paper. I don't know why. Um, let me get into some good focus here with you. Isn't she just beautiful? Oh, that's enjoyable. Hey guys, I just have to put in a, another snippet of this video and apologize for um, a visible difference in uh, filming difficulties for me. I Today's my first day using this new um, tripod uh, arm that I got with an attached ring light. Um, I'm not enjoying the process. It doesn't seem to be too sturdy. It moves, shakes a lot, and the lighting is just not accurate for me. So um, bear with me. I'm going to work on uh, lighting and my filming setup. And I so appreciate you for spending your precious moments with me. You have a blessed day. Bye-bye.